The inland waters of the Pacific Coast are busy marine highways for passenger vessels, cargo ships, tugs and barges, float planes and pleasure craft. With so much traffic, there is potential for something to go wrong. You can see the targets coming up to turn point. We're down off Victoria. There's been some very high profile marine incidents in British Columbia as of late. And one of the key components that led to some difficulties in the early response was lack of everyone understanding the nature of the situation. So by sharing the data in a common way and giving everyone the same picture, you're going to enhance the political and operational response to an incident, which is what it's expected of us by the taxpayer. The Nanaimo Port Authority has partnered with the North Vancouver Company to develop a sophisticated marine navigation and security system that will enhance vessel traffic operations in the Salish Sea. We have um, four domestic ferry terminals, two dangerous good ferry terminals, two water aerodromes, uh, four different deep sea berth facilities, and so the movement of that variety of commercial cargo requires strong oversight to meet the public's expectation that we're providing a safe and environmentally friendly and monitored transportation network. They have developed and are testing a marine domain awareness system a BC electronic marine highway. Really you want to connect the dots so that if you take centers where there's traffic buildup and or activities which potentially could result in an incident, you saturate that area with sensor coverage and then the next sensor area, like say Nanaimo in Vancouver, and then you provide lighter coverage on the route in between because the risk is less. The MDA will give the Port Authority and its partners, Transport Canada, the Canadian Coast Guard, Pacific Pilotage Authority, or any port users such as Island Terminals, Harmac, or BC Ferries, timely information on anything related to the navigable waterways. If you look at the picture, you'll see that uh, there are targets, those triangles and squares, and they have a blue line behind them, which is uh, either how far they've moved or where the direction they're going in. It's an integrated layer where it takes information such as a known uh, Canadian Hydrographic Service chart, it puts on top of it radar information, AIS information. A cursor pointed at a vessel icon on a large computer screen at the NPA's operations centre will bring up the ship's name, speed, draft, position, direction. Another click will link one of four cameras that can zoom in for a closer look and bring it up on screen and continue to track along with the vessel as it plies through the water. And we also put on another layer which is 3D. So you're seeing the bottom of the vessel moving in relationship to the bathymetric information of the chart. You're looking at the um, set and drift of the vessel from current and wind. You're looking at its interaction with other vessels and uh, its own movement in relationship to the fixed geographical features. Currently we see from north of Campbell River to south of Victoria into the Fraser River and into Vancouver Port. Uh, we are looking at expanding the system. We want to know the moment the vessel enters the territorial waters, if it's bound for Vancouver or Nanaimo so we can track its voyage, anticipate its needs, adjust linesman's calls for arrival, tug berthing packages, stores that are being delivered, port warden visits and inspections by Canadian Food Inspection Agency to minimize unnecessary costs by having a person stand on the dock based on an estimated time of arrival as opposed to a real time of arrival. The Nanaimo Port Authority has invested about $2.2 million in infrastructure equipment, software, training and staff in getting the project up and running. We're testing and proving it before it's utilized because you have to certify it safe. The moment something is utilized for navigation, you have to be double darn sure that it's going to be safe, effective and, and it's repeatable. It's not 99.9% .9 of the time, it's 100% of the time. So do you want to fly over to Vancouver so they can see that as well? There is currently only one other place, the Strait of Malacca, one of the busiest shipping areas in the world where an earlier version of the Marine Domain Awareness System is being utilized. For GO, only on Shaw TV, I'm Ned Lucas.